Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dungeons of Dreadmore. Here we are in mid-run. Level 3. The Mining Village of Vinters, apparently. The Octo could be a problem for us. Not so much this particular Octo, but the existence of Octos in general. They have been the bane of several runs. Look at that, I teleported, did not mean to do that. Kill the boss first, the others will scatter. Yeah, then they just kind of lose interest in me. Great. Okay, the Octos basically have not only range attacks, which are dangerous in and of themselves, but also the range attacks of an element that is very hard to find resistance against. So we could just be doomed. Oh, this is a nice timing for a side quest. Sure, let's do it. I said yes. There we go. The magical artifact, Lewizuki. The Cowardly Carvings has been lost. Will you seek it? Sure, why not? I'll do it. Could be anywhere. As long as we just find a random artifact on the ground. It's basically all she's asking for. We can totally do that. Hey, we're taking the Blobbies out in one shot. That's great. That means our weapons are about on par with where they need to be. We're probably going to find another monster zoom, I guess it'd be. We did find a double monster zoo last time. I'm hoping the game takes that into consideration and does not give me a monster zoo for this floor in some sort of recompense. But we'll see. Iron sword. The six damage. That's not going to be enough, is it? We're doing six with the interdimensional axe, so no thanks. I'm good. Distilled elven sociopathy. In a similar vein of ninja drugs and mustaches of power, it seems like someone been able to extract the essence, the essence of the pointy ears, haughty expressions, and fake British accents into one small battle. Bottle, rather. Let's drink it, see what it does. This gives us 20 turns of ancient elven sociopathy. You can try all you want, but being as stuck up as an elf is something rather out of your reach. Still, the murderous manadrani touch and fake British accent have got to be good for something. Okay, so he sees us. I'm not sure what that gives us. Uh, the plastic bolt does six damage. We might as well take it. I have no idea what that was good for. It went away really quick. Yeah, I don't know. It could just be funny. That could be just enough, I suppose. It doesn't necessarily have to be useful. It could just be humorous. Um, let's try not stepping into those kind of traps. To kind of block ourselves off, though. Can I... Okay, 45% chance. That's bad. Don't die to these traps. Just disarm them. Not by stepping into them, hopefully. Bow staff. Again, well... Four crushing damage, two defense. I like the defense, but only four damage makes that pretty much untenable. I'll pick it up to sell it. But that's probably going to be its fate. It's probably just going to be sold. Okay, that hurt a lot. We should definitely be eating some food. 15 health is about where I need to be, I think. Uh, grab the Pilsner. We're not using our magic nearly as much as that would be. Mostly because the Radiant Wizard thing seems... Well, the first spell seems useless right now. The second one is decent, but only if you're surrounded. It's very situational. Okay, hello there, shop. Ooh, you've got some shiny weapons in this shop. That does 8 damage. That does 4, so we don't care. That is 3 hearts, or 3 health and 1 protection, or 1 defense, rather. The wind sword we already have, but another wind sword, I wouldn't say no. Dagger of Akamas, 6 damage. And some protection against some random elements. Not terrible. The thing is, two wind swords with seven damage, that might be pretty good. Though the eight damage, I don't know how you say no to eight damage. Okay, sort out. Sell you the bow staff, sell you the plastic bolts too, that's pretty bad. And the throwing knives I don't need right now. Let's put in the uh, skull bolt in that spot instead. Alright, we gotta remember we have wands too. Also, have wand lore we need to do something with. Okay, so that's pretty much all I can do there. 
Yeah, I think sell you the interdimensional axe. There you go. So with 13k, which is more than enough to buy this sword. Is it just me or prices somehow seem more reasonable this run? Don't know why that would be, but it seems like the shopkeepers have learned their lesson of trying to extort us in previous runs. Oh, by the way, here's a... Um, inside the shop, usually, it's... Oh, by the way, here's a... Uh, a weapon that you might really like. It is 20,000 damage, but by the way, it costs 40 bazillion Zorkmans. So, sorry, just wanted to taunt you with it. You'll never actually be able to use it. Goodbye. But now they seem to actually, like, have stuff we can buy and get and stuff. It's great. Now, granted, it could be just this run, and then they'll be back to their extorting practices later. 35% chance. We could just walk around it. Alright, the clones are a little worrying. Remember, this is good. That'll sell for a pretty penny. As long as we go around the traps, we're fine. Can I stop picking up Loot Fisk? This doesn't seem worth it. Um, we can get our Radiant Bonus by not killing him. Prince, and go down south. Okay, Dreadmore, you're gone. We've been picking up a lot of Joy Juice. I don't know. I haven't really been using that much magic. It seems like the Radiant Wizard... I mean, I guess with this guy trapped behind here, we could do Light Dart. So it did 10 damage? Yeah, it did 10 damage. It's not nothing. At range, it's pretty good. Does seem to use a lot of mana though, so I guess we should be using some pear wine. There you go. Let's free some inventory space. Are those those are our pants? Hippie Mancer's leg covering. It's one defense. No dodge chance, but you know what? We might be better on defense anyway. One sagacity. Uh, one kind of protection. I don't know exactly what that is. That might be toxic. There we go. Alright. I'm sure why not? We'll wear these. Well, it actually protects against Necromantic and... Yeah, Toxic. Okay, that was right. Alright, go ahead and drink some more hard cider. Get some mana back. Okay, there's a boss man there. Can I shoot him from here? I totally could. Okay, that was not bad. There we go. We took him out before he even got to us. Turns out Light Bolt might actually be not that bad. Okay, so I think we got three in everything, right? So we started to do four. Ancestral body paint. The marking of your ancestors will protect you in battle against, it looks like, explosions, Hyborian. Um, I don't remember what that other one is. Get some magic resistance. Magic deflection. Okay. All right. Sure. Let's be magic resistant and all that good stuff. Who knew? Body paint actually protects you against magic. Every door now. I'm kind of expecting a monster zoo. And I'm still kind of worried about it, too. I don't know if we necessarily would be able to go through a proper monster zoo right now. Bolt Council Gift Hamper. This lovely takeaway hamper is often given away at Bolt Council community leaders on fairs. Open up to find out what's inside. Okay, sure. Why not? Why not? Uh, where did it go? There it is. How do I open it? Oh, it's a pickup. Okay, so I use it. All right. Okay, and inside was Eldric bolts. Okay, and that's the burnt-out wand that was just the uh, the hamper. Okay, interesting. So we have some Eldric bolts from that. I mean, we still don't have a crossbow, so it's not of any use to us right now. I haven't picked up a lot of bolts. You know what I should do? What I should do is go to the store and sell all our bolts. Because you know as soon as I do that, as soon as I do that, we're going to find a crossbow. We're going to go, shit, we don't have anything to actually use with this. And the game is going to laugh and laugh and laugh. But you know what? We might as well amuse the game, right? The game laughs at us. It'll be too busy trying uh, too busy to then try to kill us, hopefully. 
Okay, so light bolt on. I'm oh, sorry, light bolt. That's what I'm going to do on you. Oh, there we go. Only took like two hits to get him. I actually found my range. Oh, hello there, Monster Zoo. Fuck. Okay, well, definitely first thing you do is suit up. The next thing you do is run for the fucking hills. We do not want to be surrounded. Unfortunately, we have like, no cover here. Okay, wait a minute. Let me, let me see what we can do if we have anything. From the Dire Empowerment's not necessarily a bad idea. Let's just drink that. Give me 17 turns of being a little bit more mighty. Necromantic, resistance. Get some additional damage on us. We might be all right. Okay, then stand the hell back. We're going to get surrounded. It's going to happen. At least we won't be able to get surrounded on all four sides. We might just die here. Okay, Aethernaut's dead. Clone? Well, fortunately, the Dire Empowerment looks like it is taking less hits. Oh, shit. The Octos are going to be here, too. The Octos are part of the Mulch Zoo. Fortunately, if they don't get a clear shot, they have to go into melee. The real problem is going to be later on in the zoo when they decide that now is a good time to mess with me. Okay, got to remember, we have Thought and Paturgic Trap. So we can heal ourselves. We need to. I think right now, just go ahead and eat some food. Apparently, there's a note inside. You are suffering from a constant desire to eat. Hallucinations telling you to eat food to regain health, or hoarding large amounts of food for later. You may be suffering from food addiction. Please stop by the Food Addiction Counselors Group on level 15 to learn more. There's 15 levels. Alright, so... Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and do Light Darts. Because that will help. Let's see what Light Darts do on the unfriendly AI. That wasn't bad. It's 11 damage on him. Okay, good. You're electrified to death. Crab guy dies. So we have a way to pull guys now, which would, which is better than we had before. I mean, usually we have to rely on crossbow bolts for that. Now, it is using up a lot of our magic. Uh, but we can always deal with that by drinking copiously. There you go. I mean, it's probably not a good idea to get into a ranged fight with, say, an Octo. That seems like a really bad idea, but anything else? Where'd the Octo go? Oh, there he is. He's over there. Probably go over here and murder the Octo. Yeah, it looks like... I don't know what's throwing the electricity around. I thought it was the Octo there for a minute, but it seemed like he was in melee. And the combat log rolling up in the top left is not as helpful as you would think. Oh, there's a vegetable right there. I didn't even see you, my dude. Alright. My problem right there is I could have been surrounded, and that would have been bad. But hey, we dodged a shot. That's great. I don't think that's me that's doing the electric. 25. We're at one-fourth health right now. That is not pretty. Okay, good. Let's eat some food. Some grimy food. Some gummy bears. Gummy... Gummy beans? Gummy somethings. I don't know. We have food poisoning right now. If your insides are trying to promote themselves, you're outside. Fuck. Um, that sucks. All right, just keep on eating because we we can regen past it. It is 20 turns of it, which is crazy. Looks like it also might be stacked. It might have been the gummy worms. Okay, good. It's done. All right, let's call in... This guy here, it's gonna call in more guys, but that's okay. All right, I'm hoping by by doing this, we'll be blocked off, so we can only get two at once, and then they, they go around. Cause we're kind of a, like blocking the corner over here. Could work. Looks like it's working so far. Okay, we get hit a little bit. That's no big deal. Clones are good like that. Boop and boop. That was not so bad. Uh, we definitely should be suiting up more often. Let's do that again. There you go. Alright, somebody is hurting me a lot right now. I'm going to guess it's you. So far, so good. We did... We no longer have regen, unfortunately. 
But the Berserker Rage seems to be helping us a little bit. If that clone's gonna struggle around trying to hit me from behind. Or maybe not. He okay, killed the crab first. Then get rid of the clown. A little worrying, but okay so far. Really, these guys we're dealing with right now are not my main concern. My main concern is if an Octo group is in the Monster Zoo. And that group is going to say, hey, you know it would be funny? We throw a bunch of, I don't know, charged bolts or something at this guy. Wouldn't that just be hilarious? And all the other Octos go, sure, that'd be hilarious. Oh, there's a boss demon guy here. We should probably fight him. Hello. That's not so bad. We're doing like almost 20 damage on him. So, of course, he doesn't block. Come on. Come on. We got him. All right, great. Boss down. Mini boss, probably. There we go. We have a gold ring. I'm sure, you know, another five health. Probably not a bad idea. Okay, cheese. Okay, we got some gold. We should definitely eat some cheese. Eat a cheddar cheese right there. There we go. Alright. We do have a bunch of Octos in here. It looks like another room as well. Um, Alright. Probably stepping in was not necessarily the best idea in the world. We can do some light darts. We can these guys up. Soften them up a little bit. They're still going to be able to surround me, though. Let's go over this side. It'll help a little bit. The AI is not actually smart enough to move around me on other sides. Oh, there's Fairy Walker. I mean, that's good for health, but I don't, didn't mean to pick that up right now. Okay, great. I mean, the automatic counters are just fantastic when they kick in. Hello there, Octo. Please get shot. And then murdered. And then murdered, I said. There you go. The Octo didn't actually shoot at me, which I'm kind of surprised by, but I'll take. That guy didn't even see I was there, which means he just died instantly. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no door between these rooms, so these guys can pretty much just come in whenever they like. Which looks like it's going to be right now. Okay, that Octo on the left looks like he doesn't even see me. We can manage to take out these guys in the bottom before the guys on the left know we're here. That'd be pretty sweet. Just go away. Just go away. Oh, am I standing in acid right now? I'm totally standing in acid right now. Let them stand in the acid. I don't want to stand in the acid. I think it was one of the Octoblobbies. That's something we gotta watch out for. Yep, okay. Well, at least they're not immune to their own acid. All right, we're not down too far. Just enough to eat some apples and some Danish. Should be okay. Looks like the acid might be gone. No, I think it wasn't the Octoblob. I think it was the clones. The clones are dropping acid on me. Well, that's just rude is what that is. You guys are supposed to be based on me. Do I look like I drop acid? I mean, to be fair, my character kind of does. A little bit around the edges. Oh, we are going to get surrounded here. That's bad. Um, let's take care of the vegetable up top. There, he's out. There. Now they can only come from us from two directions. It's better than all four. And the Octos might not be able to see me at all. Now, how we're going to deal with them, I don't know. There's got to be, be something we can do. Am I staying in acid again? I honestly can't tell. I might be. They're throwing acid at me, but I don't think I'm actually standing in it. Alright, eat a steak. And we need one more thing. Eat a cheese log? Sure. Okay, clone behind me, but the vegetable, I think, can we take out in two hits? Yes, we can. I am standing in acid right now. Let me get out of this. He's out. Yeah, I was standing in it. An acid pool. All right. Eat some more steaks. And now we've got to figure out how we're gonna take out these octos. Um, let's do. Let's do this. I 
did wake up the Octos, but if I hide down here, the Octos might forget I exist, but they can't target me. I mean, they're pretty dumb. Standing in acid again, yeah, so it's, it's, it's the cloned heroes that are doing that. Okay, we, yeah, we've got to be careful about that for sure. Take you out. Good, you only alerted you. Great. Now, first things first, heal up. Right? Eat some food. This is why we had so much food on us. It's because of these damn monster zoos. Alright. Shoot you. Great. Just take you out immediately. He did resist a little bit, but he did die. Alright. This isn't so bad. So these little light darts. And there we go. Octos on the top side are dealt with. Eat some Pilsner, make sure we heal up. Rough Iron Axe is pretty bad at this stage. Like, three damage is really not going to cut it. They're not throwing magic at me, and I'm okay with that. If I'm the only one hurling magic about, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, drink some more Joy Juice here. Okay, we're going to need to reclaim our mana, because these Octos prefer if they never saw me. Looks like that might be the case. And that'd be trying to run away from me, which just makes me feel a little bad, but so it goes. They kind of deserve it. Let's hide the character sheet so we can actually see what we're doing. I'm gonna run out of magic pretty soon. But I think that was. I mean, there's two more Octos down here, but I think that was the last Octo in this room. There's boots. Do I have boots? I have no shoes right now. I would totally wear some shoes. Alright, buddy. Kill the AI. No problems there. Poor the clone tier doesn't even know I'm here. He's running away from me like he does, but no, there we go. Good crits. Took away from the poor the clone tier, and he's out. Great. We leveled up. Fantastic. I will take. Walk it off. Has a chance to increase health regeneration and stubbornness after getting hit. Sounds great. Let's do that. And then we want to just light dart these guys to death. I missed. That's okay. He's dead. He was doing 4 damage to me with his shot. We're doing 10 damage. Uh, it says Octo is dead. Oh, there we go, because we got the monster zoo cleared. Okay, great. So... We got Aichiku, the Nebulous Kitten. Four defense, three armor absorption, one dodge, and everything else is negatives. Well, I guess one piercing protection, too. Um, we have five defense and three absorption with our current armor. So this is actually worse. All that trouble for a worse artifact. That's sad. Still, though, done with the Monster Zoo. Got some experience. Got some level up. Not going to say no to that. Going to say no to awesome Aqua Forte, though. I do not know how to do Alchemist stuff at all. Ooh, a Dire Sandwich. I will take that. Thank you. Oh, there's the artifact we're supposed to pick up. There you go. And it randomly turned into Pluwin the Bard Beginning, which has two crushing, one piercing, two toxic, and one, I want to say necromantic. So that is 6 damage, all told. Does decrease our visibility somehow, which sounds like a really bad idea. I'm doing 8 damage with you and 7 damage with you, so the artifact is basically, functionally, worthless. Well, we can sell it, I suppose. There is a shop up north, we can do that. Um, let's see. I suppose that's going to be it, though. We go to the shop, and then we go downstairs. We don't need to do much else here. Hello, sir. I mean, I guess there is... There's a way south from where we are right now, if we can get to it. Just need to wrap all the way around. It's possible the handy-dandy teleporters will take us where we want to go, but it's hard to tell how handy or dandy they are. That aluminum bat, that's pretty bad. Yeah, I can shoot electric bolts at you too, buddy. How do you feel about that? Okay, AI, no threat, two hits. Done, easy. 
Wisps should be one hit each. Or whites, whatever the hell they are. Yep, no worries. I'm not going to get another side quest, I think. I love the experience bonus, but we have to, like, crawl all around the floor in order to satisfy it, and that does not sound like a good time. Can I not? Oh, there we go. The lockpick kept on breaking when I attempted to use it, apparently. Now, why these guys decided to lock themselves in here is another question entirely. I mean, I do not want to know what kind of nonsense monsters get to behind locked doors. That's between them and their Jin, apparently. But that's a weird combination of monsters, too. Solution of gold, I do not care. Hey, guys. What's up? What's that? You want to murder me? Just, like, on principle or in general? Okay, well, she stepped into the ass, but didn't actually help me at all. That hurt. And I'm standing in acid. Yeah, step down to that. Well, that definitely hurt. Took me down just above half. There, yeah, good crits. Let's heal. Ooh, am I out of food? I'm almost out of food. That's a bad time. I've probably been overhealing, too. I've probably been eating a lot more than I actually need to. During the Monster Zoo, that was might have been fine, but now that we're starting to run a little bit on food... Oh, there we go. There's a cheddar cheese right there that we got. We probably should get down, get down to the next floor. It's about that time. Next floor is more likely to have, like, fresh food on offer. We've mostly explored this floor. Um, let's see. Looks like there's a side passage here with some cheese in it. Sure, I'll take some cheese. Some Pilsner. Cheese and Pilsner together are probably not the best combination, but... We're in a dungeon, not a gourmet restaurant. Only so much we can actually choose here. I've only been to a gourmet restaurant once in my life. It was a really cool... Okay, we're not going that way. Really cool steak restaurant. I mean, it was, it was some fantastic steak, all right? Also expensive as fuck. I mean, this steak cost... I think for... Whatever it was I ordered. I don't remember what it was. It was a big steak, too. It was, like, probably... I mean, I wanted to say the size of my plate. Like, that's going to define it at all. That's the size of my plate. How big was your plate? Fuck, I know. I don't know. It's plate-sized. Um, so the plate was roughly about... I'm trying to measure out with my hands and try to get an idea of how big this was. Um, probably about... Half a meter? No. That's wrong. Half a meter's wrong. Maybe a third of a meter. So I guess about a... That'd be about a foot, right? So yeah, about a foot long... A foot wide. A foot wide. Didn't have just the steak on it, though. It's like, the steak was off... That took about... Probably about a half the plate. The other half was vegetables, because that's what I ordered, and rice, I think, something else. Um, but that was a fantastic steak. Now, what it did cost... If I remember correctly, something like $150 a plate. And I was there, and my girlfriend was there, so that was a $300 meal right there. Now, we did have, as it's going to sound, cheap as fuck, and it's okay. We did have a coupon. So, the, with the coupon, even with the coupon, I think it was still um, somewhere around 120 I think, for both of us to eat there. So, not something we do on the regular, but... Aw, oh, shit, spot. Okay, this is not a bad location. Right? Because we have a natural bottleneck. I mean, some of these guys can fly, but not a lot of them. Who can fly in here? Uh, the phoenixes definitely can. That might be it. Oh, no, the pumpkins can, and the cloud guys. Oh, I didn't want to just... Shit. We have three rooms in this freaking monster zoo. Oh. My. God. We might die here. Because the thing is, we don't have... Like, we just came down this floor. We don't have the weapons to properly deal with this, I think. Or the skills. But we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try to live. Here we go. Suit up first. Then back the fuck up. Alright. There's something dying up there. No idea what that's doing, but okay. Alright. 
So we can only get hit by one thing at a time, assuming we can actually hit. We actually did crit there. Fantastic. Some of these guys are... Looks like they accidentally started a... Then maybe they started a trap. They stepped in their own traps. Why would he put traps inside of Monster Zoo? Well, because random generations like that sometimes. Uh, light darts, probably the right thing to do here. Is to call these guys over to us. Weaken them whenever possible. That was some nice damage right there. That's right, the Treants will charge us. And we are not going to be able to step out of the way, unfortunately. We do step out of the way, they hit a wall and get dazed, which is just great. But sadly, not today. You know what I should probably do? Uh, don't we have a potion of... Yeah, we'll take potion. Here we go. Do just a little bit of electric damage as we attack here is probably really good. Assuming, again, that we actually land all these shots, which is not always going to happen. Okay, solid blocks. Uh, remember to drink some Pilsner every once in a while to regain some Magicka. We're gonna need it. Okay, Treant's gonna go down. Treant has to charge from further away, though, so... Him being right next to us did not hurt us at all. Alright, we're, we're doing more damage than I thought we'd be able to do against these guys, so that's something. Like, we're taking out the samurai bots in, like, two hits. That's cool. That's working out. What about you? You're taking out three hits? Two hits still. Okay, great. It's the mustache golems that can occasionally block us, which is bad, but otherwise we're doing all right. Ooh, yeah. The, okay, the paladin can shoot from a distance. Did not realize that was a thing. Shoot him from a distance. Really wish I had the ability. Oh wow, what was that? Oh, that was the thermo blobby throwing some nonsense at me. I think we might currently be on fire. Yeah, yeah, that that square's on fire right now. Might be able to reclaim it later. We still have our bottleneck though, so I'm not adverse to this. It's just not ideal. Our staff spirits just standing there. There we go. So thermo blobby apparently can throw fire. It's good to know. The fire has got to be over by now, right? Yeah, no animation as far as I can tell. We're good. Oh, no. I stepped in it again. Apparently, it did still start up the fire. Okay. Well, it's good to be able to identify these things. Okay, good. Good. Fish Paladin, hello. Now, without our natural block... Yeah, our natural blockade here would be doomed. We'd be fucked. Totally. And we still might be... They're not going to give me too much of a chance to heal here. Okay, there we go. There's some chance to heal right there. I will take cheese round, please. That's about how much health I'm down. Now a little bit more. Treants can't build up their charge, which is good. I'll go ahead and take some loot fist. And shoot them as much as I can there. There you go. Having some versatility with... I mean, that's usually what crossbow bolts are for. He is having some kind of range versatility. Or throwing weapons, but usually the only throwing weapon we're able to find are freaking softballs, which would not do nearly as much damage as these light things, so that's great. So yeah, Radiant Wizard is actually more useful than I thought. Being able to just throw a light over there. And then they get wrecked. Okay. Step forward. Looks like this area is no longer on fire, which is good because it's been like 30 turns. Just don't want to go too much further. We're going to have to go forward, though, because it's, there's three rooms of this. And unfortunately, they're not all going to be able to be pulled in by my light blast from all the way over here. Solid. Um, let's drink some more Pilsner to make sure we're going to be in good magical shape. Well, on the upside, if we go over there and I get surrounded, I can always hit... I can always hit Dazzling Blast. Probably should have shot him before he approached, but too late now. Okay, what about that guy? Can I shoot him? Mix up some of these guys. 
He just died immediately. What is our range for this? Can we just shoot everybody infinite? Let's see if we can shoot all the way over to the fish paladin. Holy fuck, we can. That's amazing. Okay, drink some Pilsner. I mean, he resisted some of it, but still. Though this is not getting anybody close to me right now. Like, they know I exist, but they're like, fuck it, I'm not going way over there. He's way over there, what am I gonna do? Alright, so we're gonna have to leave our natural bottleneck, unfortunately. Okay, there's some, there's doors there. Okay, that's better. That's a better shape than we were in. You see that shot? It bounced off the phoenix, or bounced off of me and went back to the phoenix. That's cool. Alright, samurai bot. So the pumpkin guys are dangerous. I'm gonna shoot from a distance here. Um, they looked at me, but they didn't actually do anything. I don't know how to take that. Um, let's see, let's grab the fish pellet in here. Just murderize. There is a little mini boss slime guy. Come on, we're just countering each other all the time. There we go, finally. I right, take the slime guy, I guess. I mean, they know I'm here, but that they're not gonna be able to do anything about it because they can't go through the door. They apparently don't know enough to bash the doors. There we go, we level up. I will take conduit. Grants more mana regeneration. Yes, please. I'm using an amazing amount of mana. Um, I should also be drinking more of this. Oh, we actually got... Right. Every time we level up, we automatically get our mana and health restored. Do you forget these things? Oh, apparently I can just throw these at random squares, which is not nearly as helpful. Okay, Triant. going to charge me again, or are you just dead? Okay, there's the pumpkins... Uh, cloud there. That is bad. But I can hit him through the clouds. Okay, just go for the phoenix. I don't know if the phoenix is going to be resistant to going through the cloud. Looks like she is. Oh, sure. Throw something at me then. There, you're dead. How about you, pumpkin? There we go. One pumpkin down. There's still like five more left in this room. Drink some more Pilsner. They can't get to me through the door, so I'm not going to worry about them just yet. The Phoenix has got to go. It looks just like we can take out the Phoenix in one hit. We do have to approach the pumpkins to do this. Which I'm worried about. Okay, it turns out in melee they're not so bad. It's the range attacks you need to worry about. So if these guys get in range, we're doomed, but... Yep, okay. Phoenixes are also throw fire at me. Seems like they've got to be resistant to fire. Like that's a neat, that's neat that it was I was able to bounce it back to them, but it didn't seem like that actually did much in the way of damage. And he got knocked like all the way back. Oh, hello, there's Rusty. We're currently standing in fire and poison. You might not realize. Okay, drink some more Pilsner. Eat two more and eat some food. I'd probably shoot this guy from a distance. Probably safe as he resisted it. There. 12 damage per is not terrible. The Phoenix is in the way right now, though. Okay. Hopefully, by being around the corner from the pumpkin, I was hoping he could approach me, but he did not. He countered me, though. I blocked his counter, but it was still a counter. Freaking poison. Alright, get out of the poison. Oh. Uh, the pumpkins are not immune to their own poison. That seems like an oversight. Okay. Or possibly the best thing ever. One of those. Like, see, if I had, like, a plague bolt or something I could throw in there, that'd be great. Oh, there's a magical guy here. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, just go ahead and step into the fire and burn to death. That's great. Thank you. Appreciate that. 
Phoenixes, of course, can't burn to death. They don't know the meaning of the word. Burn is what their enemies do. They don't do that. Okay. Now might be the time for this. I'm gonna do it. It might not be the time for this, though. No, never mind. It's not the time. Eat a sandwich. Alright, the pumpkin's gonna come right up to me and say hello. I'm gonna say hello back. There. We are below half health. I am worried. Did the... Hold up. Where the hell did you come from? Little boss man? No idea what happened there. Yeah, below half. And the freaking counters. The freaking counters. There we go. We actually critted. We're still regenerating, thank goodness. But... That was a haywire attack right there. Back the fuck up. Throw a light dart at this guy. He's being a bit of a dick. And... He's out. Do not step in the fire. Do not stand in the fire. Heal up again. I don't even know I exist, so I think we're safe-ish. We still have two more rooms of this. I don't know if we can make it. I'm definitely worried. There's one more pumpkin. Then we gotta prioritize him. I mean, yeah, the birds are bad, but... It's a good, solid crit. He didn't know we existed there for a minute. There. Alright, he's out. No! He came back. The phoenix was there. The phoenix saved his fucking bacon. I can't believe it. That's some great interaction there. I'm kind of a fan, but I also hate it. Okay, just shield up, and let's go to this. I didn't realize that's what they could do. I mean, it makes sense. It's phoenixes, right? They'll totally come back from the dead. It's just a cool mechanic that the phoenix can bring back their companions from the dead. That's neat. Okay, well, I don't think we're ready for this, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to have to go into this room. There's a pumpkin right through the door. It's not good. We don't have any AoEs. We don't have any explosions, as far as I can tell. We do have some wands. Let's see what the wands do. Let's see what the wands do. The wands, let's see. Silver Discharger. Crockles with Lightning. I like that. Wanda Quakes. Oh, that's right. The Wanda Quakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That surrounds them with um, spikies. Spikes, really, not spikies. And that those spikes hurt if you step on them. So that could work out. I can do it through the door. Oh, dude, you guys have no idea. I'm still, I'm not healing right now. I should be healing. If I can cast this anywhere, I can cast this anywhere. That's fantastic. I mean, I'm probably going to run out of charges pretty soon. I have three charges left. But if I can cast this anywhere at any time, I can kill these freaking pumpkins before they even get to be a too much of a problem. Oh, no, never mind. It's gone. That was it. Okay. That was still not bad, though. What about the silver discharger? What does this do? Um... I might have broken the game by trying to do it through the wall. Because we are stuck mid-animation right now. I can't move. I may have broken the game. Yes, yeah, so that was probably supposed to be line of sight. Um, it should have just stopped me, but no, instead <laughs> I broke the game. Whoops. Uh, well, if we all tough four, that's the end of the run. We can sit here and wait to see if this resolves, but, um, turns out, line of sight, really important. If it's this important that it breaks the game, though, you'd think they would have, you know, stopped me. Oh, no, there we go. It worked. It just had to calculate, I guess. It worked. Holy shit. I thought for sure we were doomed there. Alright, we took out most of the pumpkins. This might be doable. Watch the fish paladin kill me, that'd be kind of hilarious. Alright, we have another natural bottleneck here. I'm not doing as great. We are down to roughly just a little bit above our, our halfway point here. 
We just continue to dodge. Doing a good... Be in good shape. I'd also like to regenerate, but they're not going to give me a chance right now. Oh, and look at that. We're on fire. So much for our bottleneck. Bottleneck has now been compromised. Now, granted, they are going to be stepping on fire when they come up to me. Okay, there we go. We have a small window here. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm out of food. I am actually almost out of... Okay, we got grapes. Eat some grapes. He doesn't know where I am. Eat some fair water. There we go. Gives us some regeneration. But that's the last of our food. I don't see any other food on this particular map. That could be a problem. Without food, we can't regen. Without regen, we die. So it might have actually been a mercy if the game had actually just completely failed there. Because I think we're going to be murdered anyway. Do I have any other food? I have... I do have some cheese. I have two pieces of cheese. That's it. That's all I got. We gotta save those until we're below half again. Now, as long as... What was that? Yeah. And that was... as a plum. Go eat the plum. It's only five. It's not that much. As long as the uh, pumpkin guys... Don't actually see me, we should be alright. Okay, that's blocked by fire. Um, we can we can't hit the there we go. Okay, so when they have that that flame around them, they're basically buffing the bad guy next to them. So that they don't die when they get hit. Oh, damn fire. As long as we don't stand the fire I picked up the rough iron axe, that is not what I meant to do. I meant to attack, obviously. Why would I want to pick up the axe underneath the guy who's attacking me? Makes no sense, game. Come on. Think about it for longer than half a millisecond. Well, I'm worried. But sometimes I say that, and it turns out to be all okay. Maybe worry is actually just, you know... Shit, what the hell was that? Did I just explode? That was fire right there. I think one of the thermal blobbies actually managed to throw something at me. You're below half. Said when we were below half, we'd eat, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Yep, thermal blobby right there. But he's dead now. The fish paladin thinks he's being funny. Just throw a light dart at you. And die. Uh, the pumpkin's still in there. He's in the group. Being down half, I'm not exactly inclined to go say hello, but I'm going to have to at some point. Okay, Triant, great. We can take you out in two, assuming you don't block anything. Thermal Blobby is really probably our most dangerous foe right now because he can just spread fire around. And also that. The Nightcap, I believe, just gives me mana recovery. But don't step in the fire. What are you doing, you crazy man? All right. Sort. This does say restore health. It looks like it also restores mana, so... There's that. Okay, we're gonna... We're technically above halfway point, so I'm not gonna eat food just yet. Now we're below half. Now we're definitely below half. Oh, I didn't see that you were at my level. Unfortunately, you missed that first shot. Hello there, boss. I'm at the school of the waitress. Now taking orders for news. Okay. Well, he's not taking orders anymore, because he's dead. If I just said waitress, that'd be... She's dead, right? The more blobbies just keep on dropping firebombs. Uh, we out of thermal blobbies yet? Uh, we might be. It's over to tell, because they, they... They're shorter than everybody else, so they take a while to show up. Until it's too late. Okay, throw this living statue. There you go. Good crits. Where's the pumpkin at? Oh, there's like three pumpkins down there. And it looks like a white boss. Pearl Kuba, the Opera of Hammers. Well, 
You can have opera if you'd like. Not a big fan of opera myself, but if you're a fan, go ahead. It's really just that I love musicals, all right? I have no problem with musicals. The problem with opera is that it's never about the plot. There's also the whole foreign language thing, that they never have subtitles. They're getting better about that recently, which is great. There have been operas with subtitles in fairly recent, I think. Um, even when they're singing English, I need subtitles sometimes, because what the hell Like, did you just say? Because they, they, it's more about holding the note. It's never about the plot. It's about their musical prowess, which is great for them, but I'm more interested in, like, what story do you have to tell? Shit. Um, this is bad. This is very bad. If I can taunt him into going over there. Great. Okay, if we can level up, we are so close to a level up. We level up, we heal. Now, that's not going to save us, but we still have another monster zoo room to go through here, but yeah, it might not save us at all here. There's too many pumpkins for us to reliably say that I can live through this. Like, I don't even believe the words as they're being said right now. Okay, definitely kill the fish paladin. Easy. Done. Come on. Done, I said. Pumpkin is going to run for it. Do we keep on him? Yeah, okay, he's going to throw some magic my way. That did suck. Drink some joy juice. Drink like three of these. We're going to need all the magic regeneration we possibly can. And then just try to hit these pumpkin guys. If they want to come close to me and get themselves inside their own poison cloud, great. Okay, you know what we can do? Let's try our wand again. Um, so that was... Which wand was that? Or did we actually burn it? Now here we go. Silver Discharger. See what this does again? Okay, so apparently Silver Discharger just has... It might be a bugged wand. The fact that it takes, like, a full minute to do its thing is... Pretty ridiculous. Like, it really feels like the game has crashed. Now, the animations are still going. But, as far as I know, the animations are, like, on a separate thread. And so, that is an impact. But the game itself could be, like, completely foobar. You're gonna sit here and wait. Okay, so we're not gonna use this wand ever again. This is, this is garbage. There is no reason. Like, this guy, ha we have... Well, we don't exactly have line of sight, do we? He's kind of buried in the middle there. I mean, he did get hurt. It did kill the guys who were in my way. Should we try that one more time? I mean, he almost died. This thing. But now we have line of sight. There's nothing to calculate. If it's trying to make a path between me and him, there is one. There is definitely a path. Maybe he's trying to see if there's anybody else in the way. I don't get why this particular cast is so difficult. But if he dies in this hit, I think we level up. Depends how much experience we have. We're about 13 points away, experience points away, from leveling up. Yeah, 82, 62 is what it barely, barely says above the mana bar. Um, that's out of 82.675, which is what we need to level up. Never mind, that's his 83.75. There's no way that one guy's worth 100 experience points. Okay, now we have 83.12 experience points, which is not going to cut it. Okay, let's never use that wand again. How about the meat wand? What does the meat wand do? I think it just makes meat pop out of these guys. Oh, but there we go. Samurai bot was worth it. Uh, Trap Sense is not going to necessarily help me right now. We can improve our wand abilities. Realignment. Where the fact that your body is falling apart atom by atom, becoming prone to breaching and a highly dangerous meltdown. You learn to pull you together a new form. You are assuming into a shape more suited to repelling physical threats. 
It also drains your energies faster than college frat boys can conduct blood, blood alcoholic brands. All right, we'll try it out. So we become a being of pure energy for a bit, which might be cool. Okay, kill the guy who is charging up there. Kill you, although I'm already down. Damn it, stop picking up diamonds. You need to be attacking right now. Why are you picking stuff up? Holy shit. Wow. Wow, I was not expecting two guys to be able to take me out there. The pumpkin was slashing me for 10, though. And then the phoenix chick was blasting me for one slashing, seven conflagratory, eight righteous. So that's 15, 16 damage by him. Okay, no. that No wonder they managed to tear through me like that. Okay. So much for that. We didn't even get to try out our Radiant form. Well, Radiant Wizard, I thought, was stupidly overpowered, but being able to pull from a distance is great. Just didn't use it as much as I probably could have. The Phoenix Chick was definitely a contributor to that fight, but I think it was definitely the Pumpkin that did it. But there we go. So we have to level 4, 15,000 points. Um, that is... Oh, there we go. We actually got on the leaderboard. There we go. Number 9 slot. Alright, I'll take it. It's not our best showing ever, of course, but so it goes. Thanks for watching. This has been Dungeons of Dreadmore on PC Universe, your PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.